Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at Chuckles Undercover. Yeah, I love this figure. He's super awesome and chill in his Hawaii 5 0. <laughs> chill in vacation wear. Yeah, buddy. Uh, this figure is actually um, was a first in that uh, he came with a uh, actual usable and removable holster. Uh, this was the beginning of um, web gear and storable uh, uh, weapons, which is super cool. Um, it was an innovation back in the day, and uh, I think it's really neat. <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure if I have his proper gun. Um, it fits in his holster anyway. I know I do have his proper gun, but I don't think this one is it. I think it's in a bag of pistols I got somewhere. Um, but it fits and it works, and that's what we're going with today. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Chuckles Man, uh, 1987. Uh, it was featured in the movie. Um, should have been Don Johnson's voice, but they didn't give him a voice. It's really a shame. Because he really would have been cool with Don Johnson's voice. Um, I guess they didn't want to make him the star of the film, though. Which I don't understand why. He could have been a up-and-coming recruit like he was. And still could have done the same stuff. And honestly, it make, would have made more sense with Chuckles slapping Jinx's ass than Falcon. Um, but uh, it really turned Falcon into a douche in that movie. Um unnecessarily uh, I know he had a you know a redemption arc and all that but uh, um, Chuckles could have done all the same stuff and it would have been even more awesome with Don Johnson voicing him that's just my opinion uh, your mileage may vary but uh, the action figure Chuckles he's awesome he's amazing um, I know he turns a lot of people off because he's only half Camo, half G.I. Joe. Uh, he's a uh, business on the bottom and party on the top, I guess. Um, and some people aren't into the you know, loud, bright colors, but uh, I've always had a thing for Hawaiian shirts. I dig them. And uh, always had a thing for, uh, you know, all the, all the, Magnum PI shows and the Miami Vice shows and the, you know, all those good, uh, action, uh, police detective shows from back in the day, you know, and he just fits right into all of that. Um, so this guy holds a lot of nostalgia for me. I enjoyed the figure as a kid. I enjoy it even more as an adult. I appreciate it even more. And, uh, I, he's, he's just freaking awesome, dude. Um, so awesome, in fact, that I've actually built customs of him. We got Boogaloo Chuckles over here. And uh, I'll feature him in a customs corner video on his own one day. But, uh, yeah, man, he's just a great figure. Uh, I said a removable gun. Super cool. Yeah, uh, you know, you don't need much more than that right there. But there's even more. His, uh... This actually, uh, the shoulder holster can come off and you can actually put it on his waist if you want, which is also super cool. So he's got an extra, extra bump there to, uh, snap it tighter around his waist. Um, I prefer the shoulder stock. It just harkens back to, again, like, you know, Hawaii Five O kind of stuff and whatnot. Um, but, uh, yeah, chuckles, man. He's an undercover agent. Uh, or like, you know, he could be like a private detective or uh, whatever. But his sculpting's amazing. He's got cool, cool wrinkled pants. Got a nice long bowie knife on his leg. Uh, got a web web belt. All uh, like Vietnam era-ish. Couple pouches here. And kick-ass Hawaiian shirt with some pink flowers. It almost looks like Patrick Starr right there. I don't know where SpongeBob's at, but 
This is legit, dude. This is the coolest figure ever. Um, one of my favorites, absolutely positively. Um, if I had to rate him, uh, definitely top tier. Uh, 10 out of 10. Uh, the head sculpt's amazing. His hair is legit. I don't know who sculpted him, if Rudat did or anybody, but he's got a little bit of bags under his eyes, like he hasn't slept for a few days. And uh, got a real serious look on his face. And uh, he just looks like a, you know, a stressed out undercover agent, you know? And uh, I'm really digging it. And uh, yeah, again, one of my favorites uh, as a kid and as an adult. And, uh, yeah, top tier all the way. Absolutely. Um, do you guys have chuckles? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Um, yeah, let us know down in the comments. And if you get a chance, um, read his story arc in, uh, not the Marvel run, uh, but it's either, uh, Image or Devil's Due. Um, he has a crazy, crazy story arc. And if you don't like Chuckles, um, after reading that, you will. You absolutely will. It's an amazing story. Um, it's, uh, in fact, in my opinion, one of the best G.I. Joe stories ever written. And, uh, but don't take my word for it. Uh, go find it and check it out. Because it's amazing. And Chuckles is a badass. So, uh. Anyways, that's about all I got for today, but uh, it was great hanging out with you guys and sharing some toys, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right.